Fallen? I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone to steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She staked a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. And my father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See your rare to go? Know the Isle well? I've never been I'm here before. You, plow an enormous horse, Sonny. Yes, you could is. say I've never been fond of Clan Tudorok. In fact, no one in Ard Skellig's especially fond of them. You claim Ard Skelligers don't like the people of Unvik, yet you helped them after the giant attacked. When you see of a drowning man in a storm, do you ask what clan he's from first? Can't Point believe taken, I, I guess. Got the bathroom. But your people gave them shelter, and now you've come to kill the giant. Of course we've come. Winning back Unvix the best way to get those folk off Ard Skellig. Let's get going. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. You should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this, Uncrate. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now!
closer. He's mine. Hey, let me out, quick. Shut your trap. I sat by the bloody troll cauldron with nary a murmur. Thanks, brother. I remember that. Let's get out of here. Uh, right. Just as soon as I kill him. Best him. <sighs> Viggy, you daft bastard. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yelmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Mm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case... I'll meet you on the beach, near the port.
gonna head back to Ard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead, and the folk of Unvik can go home. And Cyrus? She back yet? Yeah, and she did what she set out to do on Speaker Og. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, Uncrate. Master Geralt, a guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Exception just for me. All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come, Krakowitz. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. <laughs> I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. What's your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Ah, oh, stop your shite boasting! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? You saw her. She's so. so. But stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krak. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Respect, Richard. Best believe you're worth shining. You're worth shining.
Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market, where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here, this bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. <laughs> Hear that? Damn it! That was probably started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. 